If you're thinking of buying a new laptop, I think this video is going to be very useful for you. Today I'm showing you a laptop that has a beautiful OLED display, superb performance with great battery life, a stunning design and an excellent pricing. Not exactly excellent, it's actually unbelievably good. <laughs> the laptop that I'm talking about is the ASUS VivoBook S16. Let's just unbox this and see what's inside. In the box, you obviously get the laptop. I'll get back to it. And there's this paperwork and this uh, Type C 65 watt charger, which is good because one charger for everything. All right, so let's just take a look at this laptop. But wait a second, before I show you this laptop, imagine any Windows laptop. You must be looking at a black laptop, a white laptop, or maybe a silver one. But this one, this one is very different. It looks stunning with this green color and it is just beautiful. Just take a look at this. I mean, how can you not fall in love with something like this? This is the salvia green color and whoever I showed this to, they just loved it. And it's not just the outer body, the color extends to the entire body, be it the keyboard, the trackpad, and even the bottom part. By the way, apart from this color, there are three more colors to choose from. There's matte gray, there's cool silver, and a pink one, which by the way, is also very interesting. Now, colors aside, the laptop does look big with the 16 inch screen and it has a metallic design. But when I picked it up for the first time, I was surprised how lightweight it is. It's just 1.7 kgs and it's also quite thin at just 1.6 centimeters. So carrying this around in a bag or moving from one meeting to another was never an issue. And there was this one time when I just banged onto the glass door with this laptop and thankfully nothing happened. If I talk about the ports, this laptop can surely put dongles out of business. Seriously. There are two USB 4 type C ports, an HDMI 2.1, two fast type A ports, one on the left, one on the right and a 3.5 mm jack as well. Only if they could have added one SD card slot, I would have been a lot more happy but I think it's fine. So yeah, the design and build is sorted. Let's talk about this uh, display. By the way, it just takes one hand to open so your other hand is completely free. First of all, it's a freaking OLED panel and your movies, your assignments, your work, everything is going to look super good on it. See, in my usage, the colors look good and punchy and the viewing angles are also good no matter how much you bend. And by the way, this can go all the way to 180 degrees. Specs wise, it's a 16 inch OLED panel with 60 Hz refresh rate, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 300 nits of brightness, and 95% DCI-P3 coverage. But in our testing, we found the color accuracy to be better than what ASUS claims, which I don't think is a problem. Since this is an OLED panel, there's always one doubt about screen burn-in issue, and when we asked ASUS about it, they said that they have included a pixel refresh feature to prevent the burn-in. By the way, 16 by 10 aspect ratio is for better multitasking, which I'm sure is very useful for students, but movie watching is also solid. I watched the recent Sakamoto Days episode and Marison movie on this laptop and the experience was top notch. The display is obviously top notch, but the speakers actually add impact. They are Dolby Atmos certified, offers a rich sound experience, not too bassy, not too shallow, perfectly tuned. The next thing that matters is performance and there also this laptop doesn't shy away. It's powered by Snapdragon X with 8 Orion CPU cores clocked at 2.97 GHz, Adreno GPU and a 45 top hexagon NPU. There's 16 GB of fast LPDDR5X RAM and 512 GB of Gen 4 SSD. And if you're wondering, the RAM is not upgradable, but storage definitely is. Here are the benchmark scores in Geekbench CPU, GPU and also AI. In Cinebench R24, it scores fairly well at 700 in multicore and in 3D Mark II, the results are quite good. I tested the SSD speeds as well and there also the results are pretty good. In terms of gaming, ARM is still bare bones, so you really can't get the best gaming experience. But Epic has announced that it'll make its easy anti-cheat tool compatible with ARM soon and once that is done, you'll be able to play games like Fortnite smoothly. For now, I did try out Rocket League and at 1080p max settings, it was hovering around 60 to 90 FPS, which is not really the best. So that's pretty much everything about performance, gaming, benchmarks. Now let me tell you how this laptop performs otherwise. In my usage, which involves a lot of browsing on Chrome, working on Slack, Notion, a bit of Photoshop, WhatsApp, and watching movies, this laptop behaved quite well. There were no lags, no slowdowns, no overheating or anything like that. And even when I was moving around in a huge office, the Wi-Fi connectivity never struggled. It's not just one day, two day, three day. I've been using this laptop for past 10 days and I did not face any issues at all. And of course, with recent updates, Windows 11 has gotten a lot better and it did not give me any headache at all. Since this is a Copilot Plus PC, you get some useful AI features too. There's obviously Windows Studio effects for video calls. You also get Windows 3 calls that lets you search through whatever you were doing on your PC before 
before, setting search is also much better. So I can just search mouse is moving too fast and it'll show the slider directly to adjust the pointer speed. You can also upscale your old photos, restyle them or even generate images completely offline using the NPU. And finally, ASUS also has their own story cube app which categorizes your photos so that you can find them easily. So those were all the AI features. Now let's talk about one more thing which has impressed me a lot and that is battery life. Last weekend when I was binging content like anything, I never charged it for two straight days. And when I calculated, I got 18 hours of battery life which is insane. And if I talk about my routine workday, I mostly ended my day with 40% battery and it can easily last 12 to 13 hours of usual work. This honestly is great considering it's a 70 watt hour battery with 65 watt type C charging. And speaking of charging, it goes from 0 to 60% in less than 50 minutes which is good enough. Now if I talk about keypad and trackpad, Asus nails it there as well. The laptop comes with a full size keyboard, there are number keys and there's white backlit as well. The keys are well spaced out, there's good amount of travel and they are also slightly curved for better typing experience. I wrote a lot of scripts on this laptop including the one that you're watching right now and I did not face any issues at all. The trackpad is also as huge as uh, the display. It's very smooth to use and you get smart gestures too. You can swipe on the left to control the volume, right for brightness and the top to control the playback. And if you're someone who attend a zoom call with the camera turned on, first of all, who are you? You'll be happy to know that it's a 1080p camera so you will look good. And there's also IR face unlock which makes unlocking very smooth. You also get a physical privacy shutter which is nice. So yeah, the design and build is sorted, the performance is top notch, the display is stunning and the battery life is tremendous. Now what's left is pricing and you know what, ASUS has nailed that as well. This one costs 65,990 rupees and at that price, this is an excellent laptop that you can definitely consider. So that's it from my side. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions about this laptop, feel free to ask us in the comments. We'll answer them. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.